Hello guys, this is Usha from myspicykitchen.net. Today I'm going to show you how to create long vertical Pinterest pins using Canva. Okay, I'm here at canva.com. I'm using, I have a free Canva account. And it's very easy to create uh, customized long vertical pins in Canva. Uh, Canva has some pre-designed Pinterest graphics. We can use those graphics as well, but they do not have, uh, actually, let me click on this Pinterest graphic. And this is the, uh, a new tab opens up and this is the editor way we are going to create a Pinterest. We are going to create uh, our Pinterest pins. Uh, so Canva has a lot of pre-designed uh, Pinterest layouts. We can pick any of these and create a, create a Pinterest graphic. Uh, so since this is a food related one, maybe I could just add, oh, doesn't matter, like any of the pins, then change the image and uh, edit the heading and we are all set to go but these pin these graphics look nice the way they are but what are really very popular on pinterest nowadays and which do really well are the long the long vertical pins such as these so uh, canva doesn't have any pre-designed uh, long vertical pin templates so we are going to customize them let me close this and this too let me close it oh let me before i go there's one more thing we could do if you're using just one image okay let me just close this and uh, let me open this again so if you're going to use just one image the other easy way is just drag and drop the image and place it where you want and all you need to do is stretch it and add some font here and you're all set to go Let me close this and uh, uh, <clears throat> like these here, this uh, Amritsari fish and Dhanya Pudina Chetni or some of the images that I created for Pinterest. But today I'm going to show you these kind of images, the long vertical ones. So for that, let me use the custom dimensions. I'm going to use 700 by 1600. I usually use either 1250 or 1600. So you can, some people even use 2000, but I find it too long. So it's just your, what you want to do. And let me click design. And uh, Canva has a lot of layouts and we can use any of these are what I'm looking for. Like this is the closest uh, with two images and I can have my heading here, but there is no room. It is not pre-designed to add a heading. So I'm going to delete this. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, and actually the much easier way is just dragging and dropping your images and resizing them and create your pin so this is for another tutorial this is actually by far the easiest way of creating a vertical long pins but today for this tutorial i'm going to use layouts uh, let me go to layout and i'm going to add a layout which has one grid one photo grid and then resize it and uh, when you're 
okay let me do a copy paste and create one more grid and this one goes on the top and when you are aligning your grid or even your text box for that matter uh, canva shows you the alignment if you can see the vertical line in the middle so that indicates uh, my grid is in, is aligned in the middle so okay let me move it a little bit okay and i think this looks fine uh, so these are this is where this these are this is where i'm going to place my images and the middle one is for my uh, for my text for that i'm going to change the background no let me go to elements shapes and our canva has a lot of shapes here which you could use but since i want a rectangle banner i'm going to use a square and resize it If you are using a, if you want a white background, then you don't have to have this add this shape. Uh, but if you do intend to change the background color, it's it's easier to add a shape. Um, and also, if you're going to use the same uh, image uh, to create other pins, then this is going to be very useful. So for now, I'll leave it as it is, and let me add images. So I'm going to use the first two images, but uh, uh, these are all the images I uploaded and Canva saves them until you delete delete the images. So, or if you want to add new images, just do an upload. Okay, let me, oops. Oh. yeah, okay. So what you do is, hold and drag the image and place it in the grid where you want and if you can see my bowl of chutney is not in focus so i'm going to crop the image okay i think this is where i want i want some of the idlis to be visible and click ok and uh, there are some other features to you could add to the image so one of them is filter i normally do not apply any filters but uh, if you like you could use it uh, i'm going to stick to normal and you can adjust the brightness and contrast as well but i am not going to make any changes for now and let me adjust crop the other image too okay now let me come back to the background uh, and I think I'll use a little bit darker shade. You can pick any color you like actually. Uh, no, I think I'll leave it here. No, I'm not really happy with the color but uh, maybe I'll leave it for now so yeah you can just play around and pick the color you like and for text um, again Canva has some pre-designed text boxes you can use any of those or you could just add the heading the subheading and any of these depending on the size of the font and how you want to use it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one of these pre-designed text boxes and one of the headings to create uh to write uh on this so i think let me use uh maybe i'll use this okay and then let me resize the box to fill the banner and this is zucchini tomato chutney uh, i'm going to center center align it and change the color to maybe 
be a dark dark shade of red okay and uh, so I'm going to decrease this uh, and let me uh, change the font uh, I'm going to use special elite normally people say you need to use one font for all your pins so that you can maintain a standard uh, as your brand as your brand uh, to identify your brand but I don't stick to that uh, let me do skinny I think I may have to reduce the size zucchini tomato chutney yeah this looks fine uh, keep it 40 no 38 and this I'm going to change it to or maybe I'll just delete it uh, I'll just use this zucchini tomato chutney and then I'm going to use this tiny uh, the body of the text for my watermark and this is going to be my blog URL I'm going to make it a little bit transparent as I don't want that to be I want it to be a little bit off focus and not too bright and this I'm going to make it capital okay zucchini tomato chutney and zoom in. let me rename it as zucchini tomato chutney pin and save and download so uh, canva is going to save this image and next time like for some reason okay let me close it and uh, this is the image we just created the pin we just created and for some reason you don't like anything about the pin or the pose you can always go back to canva and open the image make whatever edits you want and also the other cool feature about this is if you want to use the same layout all you could do is just make add new images and use the same uh, layout uh, see for instance and create a new pin so all I need to do is make the edits and change the font then save it and download so it's as simple as that once you have the uh, once you have the layout you can save it as a template and use it all the time so I hope the tutorial was helpful so thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave a com leave a comment and I'll try to answer them thank you